Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting mod I found on, uh, what was it, on the Steam Workshop and it's called Aurora Universalis and it says 950 BC to 500 AD and I believe it is a work in progress, it's still going and it changes the year to the year 51 so I don't know, you know, I guess 51, definitely not AD so, but there's, you know, the world looks very, very different to the point where you have, uh, Latinum, Via, and, you know, Rome hasn't become a thing yet. The, uh, the Roman Empire has not, you know, even the Roman Republic has not formed. As you can see. So you have all these little petty kingdoms, and there's four different tabs. I'll show you each of the different ones. And you have your Greek states here, of course, uh, you know, Athena and Sparta and Argos and Elis and all these cool little Greek states, you know, Crete and Cyprus. Um, you also have Egypt, which at this point the power of Egypt has waned considerably. And uh, there's a bunch of different ruling Egyptian feudal kings, as you can see, petty kingdoms that are trying to seize control and, um, you know, do all that good stuff. Here you can uh, you can see Babylon. Babylon exists and Assur, which uh, I believe is Assyrian. But you also have the Scythian nomads in the northern border and you also have India and this is before uh, I believe the Buddha so you have the Vedic and uh, what is this Drav 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 Dravidian religions throughout uh, India and then you have China and that's cute and then you have China and China has not you know formed at all it's a bunch of warring states uh, I think Zhao actually becomes uh, Qin, which would eventually form China. You also have Gojo Joseon, which uh, becomes Korea at some point in history. And as you can see, the, a lot of the map has been blacked out. You know, you'll never reach the Americas. Uh, and Russia is just a voidless space. And parts of Southeast Asia and stuff, you'll, you know, these, these empires, uh, there's no record of civilization. So, we also have the fate of Assyria, as you can see now, you know, the year 350, Rome is here, and, you know, it's got a, uh, I guess, a democracy of some sorts, and, uh, I don't know what the time period, 350, I don't think it's 350 BC, but also you see Macedon, and, yeah, um, a bunch of these other, but you also have now the fall of Assyria. It says, uh, you know, Assyria is fighting Babylon and such. Egypt has united under, or at least the northern Nile is united. India, they're still fighting, and in China, the, you know, the Chin have come to fruition, all that good stuff. Then you have the legacy of Alexander, 700. You know, uh, this is the death of Alexander the Great. Rome is uh, Res Republica Romana, which is the Roman Republic. And all this good stuff. And Carthage exists. And you have, you know, the, the Seleucid Empire and the Morea Empire. And uh, you know, China really hasn't done anything. Yeah. Chew. But, and then you have the Eagles of Rome, which uh, starts in the year 1050. I don't know if that's BC or AD. It's not AD, definitely. S but it has, you know, the formation of the Roman Empire under Augustus Claudius Julius. I don't know who that is. I think that's Emperor Augustus. Or Emperor, Emperor Claudius, actually. So you have Rome has formed. They've already invaded Britain. You have Parthia some of these other states and then you have the Han Chinese the Han Dynasty of China being formed and um, you also have you know I'd say the Mongols but they're not Mongols yet 
But I'm going to play in this bookmark just because there's a lot more interesting things to do. There's a lot more to uh, to see. I'm going to play as the Han Dynasty of China because I've always liked the ancient Han Dynasty of China, the first dynasty. So let's start it and see where this goes. Okay. So that one mod apparently doesn't work right. Anyway, as you can see uh, right now, as of right now, there's a lot of, you know, unknown. The first event of the game fixes that. So there's a ton ton of new things. As you can see, uh, there's a, different, a lot of different religions in China now, right now. And uh, I believe there's actually, yes. So right now we have Confucian. And uh, Confucian is uh, tolerance of the true faith minus one, a tolerance of related religions, which is this, which are religions that are very similar. And then you have uh, foreign religions, which is everything else. So Confucian, our Confucian ideas give us uh, plus one, minus one tolerance of our religion, plus one uh, of the related religions, increased chance of a new heir and all that good stuff. But now you're also you also have your Taoist religion or ID group, and it lowers national revolt risk and uh, production efficiency. You also have Mohist, Mahist, which uh, I don't know what it is. Looks cool, I like the picture. And this is production efficiency, uh, normal tax. Looks like uh, you lose prestige from fighting. It's very pacifist, I'm assuming. Uh, but the tolerance of related and foreign religion jumps up. You also get fort defense and increased chance of a new era is 20%. This one's 40%. That's crazy. And then you have your legalist. And legalism is uh, just bureaucracy at its greatest or worst, depending on your you know point of view. National revolt risk minus one. People are less efficient. More missionary strength. Um... Administrative tech cost is less, but everything else costs more. So I think we're going to keep Confucianism at the moment. And uh, I'll just send a missionary out. As you can see, they've changed the icons to the uh, Roman figure bus or the Greek figures. Uh, so we have one merchant we need to send out. We don't have any colonists. I have four diplomats, apparently, and I only have one missionary. So, and I don't know what these are. What's, what's Zhao? Uh, as our territory grows larger, it will be increasingly difficult to govern effectively, so despite being potentially risky... Okay. Let us nevertheless create a Zhao province in Chinese. Huh. Run by a governor. Lose 100 administrative power. I don't have 100 administrative power, so I'm not going to click it. Tribal trading forts or trading posts. Trading posts and tribal lands. Um, I don't know. Let's just... Uh, I'll do that. And then I'll click the play button here to advance. I should get a discoveries pop-up here eventually. At least I should. That's what happened last time. As you can see, they've also changed it to uh, chess pieces. For infantry cavalry. So here we go. Scouting Thailands. Okay. Scouting among the Menlands. Okay. Discoveries. Lots of discoveries. A lot of stuff be will become visible to us. Appointing the next Cheng Zhang. For the next Cheng Zhang. Which chancellor? The next chancellor. Um, none really. 
uh, trading in trade, liquor ware, China. I have some Kazakh bellies. So there you go. It basically reveals quite a bit of China. There's also some uncolonized land. Uh, they've also tra changed the trade. As you can see, I have incense now and gemstones, bamboo, and uh, elephants. So that kind of stuff. So here we go. Here's China. Uh, Minwe, I guess, is a despotism, a Chinese kingdom. So all of our troops are up here. Our capital is what? What's our traditional capital? I don't know where our capital is. Where, where is our capital? Do you guys see it? I don't see it. I don't know where our capital is. Anyway, our emperor. Ooh, what's this? Oh, our empire gives us an extra diplomat and a possible advisor. We also have tons of new modifiers. Ooh, they've even changed the figures. Okay, cool. So let's just uh, continue on. New lands and discoveries have been found. Whoa, def undefended border provinces. What should I do? Let's uh, allocate military resources. Whoa. Okay, so there are actually country little tribes that exist. We just didn't see them. Okay. Interesting. So we might want to incorporate them into the Han Empire. I believe we back these guys. So appoint the next Tai uh, or Tai Wei. He should be trustworthy, which is the Grand Commandant. Incompetent. We have an incompetent Zheng Zhang, which is the Chancellor. So we have a very incompetent Chancellor, guys. Unfortunately. Oh, here it is. Han is the capital. Okay, we have an incompetent Tai Wei. Man, they're all incompetent. So what are these guys, like barbarians of some sort? Yeah. Why don't we just declare war on them? They're not allied to anyone. I can show superiority. So I think that's what I'll do first. Uh, oh my god. What is this? Chief Mentor, Tai Fu. This is pretty cool. Trading in tea, and I have a bunch of incompetent fucking people, which is fine, I suppose. So what do I have? What are my ships? I have improved sailing ships and improved transports, and that's it. I also have improved galleys, because the galleys have existed for a billion million years. Cool. So first thing, whoa, shit, their army just got huge. Send the armies uh, up north. That army is massive. That's scary. Whew. All right, so first thing, I have tons of soldiers. I have tons of manpower, so I'm going to go across the provinces and uh, just generally conscript people because we need an army. Otherwise, uh, we will collapse. It only takes four days, apparently, to mount a uh, like an army or to uh, ready an army. It only takes one day for cavalry. All right, let's build some catapults. There we go. So all of a sudden, I have a massive army here. Merge that army. Merge this army. Merge this army. And then let's go here and use my leader. And let's uh, declare war and see how this goes. Oh shit, their army is just as big. Stay here. Instead, you go here. And then let's rally this entire army to here.
Oh look, Buddhists. Quite a few Buddhists. So let's come in from both sides. Maybe we can get the jump on them. Or get slaughtered horribly. Because my one army is completely late for the fight. Oh Jesus. Retreat. Retreat. Retreat further. They also have Force March. I don't think I have Force March. Do I? No. I do not have the offensive ideas, apparently. I didn't do anything. I don't, I don't know what all that is. We'll go over that later. We have to. We have a war to win. So we outnumber them quite a, a bit, like a lot. Well, we outnumber them by. I don't know what. Twelve thousand men. So Man, at this point it's not like I do have tons of manpower. Travels of a new faith. Sure, let us too convert to Buddhism. So now we are Buddhist, which is like a yellow or something. Or not a yellow, it's like a purple slash pink. Alright, so we're engaging the army, the enemy. We have way more soldiers. Their, mo their morale is way lower than ours. The Duke of Chin. No. He has been a royal servant. He's been a close and loyal friend. Where he's too strong to refuse. No. He's a slave. Alright, now let's chase these... These tribesmen down. Let's finish them. Chin is right here. So, you know, once in a while you will get... Uh, those events, even though I really don't know what they do. Also, I have an electorate. Ah, uh, apparently we can select a, a different, you know, ruler. That's very, very interesting. Oh man, it's a freaking disaster we've won. So we just had to unite the Chinese army under one ruler, and then we kicked their asses. So it looks like Zing or Zhang Gun, Gun. Offensive wars going uh, wars going badly effect. And uh yeah. Let's take this army. I'm gonna head south. That just in case those border those uh tribes along the border decide to uh you know fight us. So that's pretty cool, I didn't yeah, I really haven't played this mod, and I kind of like the idea of the ancient world and the Han Chinese. So, the game starts in 950 BC. I don't know when. At 1051, applied that to BC. So maybe like 100 AD, if that. So there's a bunch of rivalries going on over the Korean Peninsula. Uh, I think over time, I'll just annex all of them. Because they won't be able to oppose the might of the Han Dynasty and of China. But uh, our religions are crazy. 
I mean, we're Buddhists. Oh, look at that. Christianity does exist. So apparently, can I convert? I can convert the Jain or Brahmin, which is um, Jain, everyone should know. Jain, if you play Crusader Kings 2, it's a uh, pacifist religion. Uh, and then there is Hindu. So I've converted to Buddhist, apparently. Which is a completely different, that's an Indian religion here. So basically, I hate all of the people in my country and treat them exactly the same. That's crazy. Suppress the Asian rebels. Let's negotiate. So, uh, oh no. Where? All the way in the fuck out here. Let's get a uh, general. Our general is Shen Jing Kao. You might have uh, read about him in the history books. He's a mighty Chinese general. Alright, so let's see what the hell all these things are. Level of decay. Uh, decay of our country. Actual value. To the right. Okay. Influential uh, opinion of social classes. Shows the value. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. And let's do the prominence of Zhang Kai. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to click on it. Oh, it just gives you uh, some statistics. Whoa, large revolt. Where? Way, way, way down there. Okay. So we have Ding, who is our next, who will be our next emperor. His heir, his name is Ding Han. Deteriorated uh, opinion of the Shang class. Allocate military resources. Uh, we cannot accept that. Jingbei, which is a despotic tribe. So let's hide this information. So let's see, our king is a 215. This guy is a 461. He's a very good diplomat. Maybe I can get a, uh, what do we have here? Master of the Mint, Qingxi. Qingxi. There you go, let's do that guy. Uh, naval reformer? No, let's do the uh, better relations over time let's get the diplomat and let's maybe whoa travels of the new faith the path the noble eight foot path yes this is buddhism so let's do this and let's march down here kill all them So slowly but uh, surely we are sieging these border provinces. Luckily I have quite a bit of military power. My country is indeed at war. Where is Minkwe? These guys. They hate me. Why? Border friction, different religion. Okay. Let's improve our relations. I'll send a, uh, a diplomat. You know, I do have one of four diplomats, these guys. The four schools of thought. Travels of the New Faith. So, lots of um, Buddhists um, leaving India, spreading it to uh, spreading it to China. Uh, 
and uh, very shortly here. Offensive wars are now going well, and my people are calling for peace. I just have one more province to take, and then set the wars over. So we're already Buddhist up here. These two provinces. Then you have legalists, which is kind of like the central bureaucracy from from uh, Futurama. It's almost exactly like that. I've suffered casualties, but I'm making tons of money, so it doesn't matter. I, I can't do it. I don't have the ma military power. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. Do, 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 do. So, once we take this province, they call for peace. The Han conquest of Wuhan and full annexation. There it is. Now I'll be able to do full annexation. So, we're overextended. Apparently, it's dangerously high. Actually, my overextension is 100%. And I can have a rival, which is these guys. These big, scary, nomadic empire up here that threatens to destroy Han civilization. So what buildings can I build? Oh look, they even redid all the building pictures. That's pretty cool. Provincial administration. We don't have any up here. So let's do that. So with that little tidbit, I'm going to end it here. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this mod. I think it's pretty uh, nifty. You know, of the ancient China. Oh look, we've discovered Rome. Check that out. That's pretty fucking cool. Rome. Roman. Stability negative one. Comfortable religious majority. Very small Christian community. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. So we've just, the two empires know about each other. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Comment on the videos. Um, and until next time, stay tuned.